Can you please address the idea that the Eastern Orthodox are the only true church because they alone can stake a claim on historical Christianity? I have a friend who recently converted, and I have heard that there are many uh, leaving evangelical churches for orthodoxy. I understand how compelling it is that they can trace their Christian heritage back to before Roman Catholicism and Reformed churches, and I cannot find a good resource addressing this issue. Okay, just a couple of things. Um, if you're talking about uh, the ancient lineage of churches and bishops and succession of bishops, the idea that Eastern Orthodoxy goes back before the Roman Catholic Church is just uh, laughable. It's, um, the Eastern and Western Church, uh, they were all together until they split in the 11th century. So th that's, uh, that's simply historically uh, ignorant. The, the, the second thing is uh, the institutional church, whether it's in the West with Rome or in the East with Orthodoxy, is contrary to their claims not an institution that has not changed over time. Uh, if you read the, er one of the things you read uh, uh, in the early fathers, the Epiphanius, who was the Bishop of Salamis, wrote a letter to Jerome describing how he was traveling and he, he came into a church and found an image, I think it was an image of Christ hanging up, and he tore it down, and he, the Bishop of Salamis tore it down because he said it's, uh, that, that doesn't belong in a Christian uh, sanctuary, that doesn't belong in a Christian setting. So there, there were controver controversies over a number of the issues that separate historic classic Protestants from Roman Catholics in the West and Eastern Orthodox in the East. Those controversies did not begin in the 16th century, um, in, in the 16th century Reformation. Um, I, uh, one time, a good illustration of this, I was reading a, I was reading a copy of Augustine's City of God, and I got to the part in the City of God where Augustine was making fun of uh, pagan priests with their funny, uh, pointy, mitered hats, and so he so he was making fun of the of the pagan priests with their their mitered hats. And I thought, huh? And I looked at the cover of the book I was reading, and sure enough, there's Augustine uh, in a in a mitered hat. Um, well, what what's ha basically a lot of this contemporary debate is simply anachronistic. People are historically ignorant. They don't know what was. They don't know what the church was like in the second century. They don't know what it was like in the third century. They don't know what happened or the shift that happened at Second Nicaea. So, so there's a there there is a lot to discuss here, and it ought not to be assumed the claims of ancient uh, an ancient lineage going back to the apostles ought not to be simply uh, taken taken for granted. There's two things that I'll I'll say. One, a book recommend and and the, uh, the other is just a general rule of thumb observation. The book recommend is, I found Robert Leatham very helpful on a number of things, and he's got a book on, on Eastern Orthodoxy called uh, Through Western Eyes. So Through Western Eyes, Robert Leatham is a very fine reformed thinker. Let me just commend that, uh, commend that book. Secondly, here's the rule of thumb. Um, if, uh, just boil it all down, they pray through pictures. <laughs> the Bible says not to do that. So if someone bows down and prays in front of an image, a painting, a statue, a cross, uh, a consecrated piece of bread, if anybody prays to a creature, God says not to do that. And so, and if someone says, well, this is historic Christianity, historic Christianity prays to idols, <laughs> I'd say, well, then I don't want to be a historic Christian. Now, that's a, the, the claim is false. Historic Christianity has uh, uh, consistently, uh, historic faithful Christianity, has um, consistently stood against that uh, kind of thing and, and faithfully. And the Reformation was a glorious cleansing of the church. Um, idolatry is one of the things prohibited in the Ten Commandments. Um, and it's just very simple. You go into the church and are there people praying to pictures? If there are people, if there are people praying to pictures, it's time to leave. You just, you just don't do that. Um, uh, I don't want the Lord to come again, um, and and have me bow, kneeling or bowing in front of uh, something that a man painted or carved or fashioned or wove or anything, anything like that. And somebody's going to say, "Well, you're just being simplistic." I'd say, "Fine. I kiss my wife. I don't kiss other women. That's simplistic." It's also faithful.